Hello everybody, welcome back to another ChatGPT tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to help you write essays, literary essays in particular. In this case, we're going to use Alice's Adventures in Wonderland as an example, and I'm going to show you how we can go from the generic, you know, boilerplate responses all the way down to very detailed breakdowns of specific parts of an essay. Now, before I show you all of these different things and how to do this, please keep in mind that ChatGPT is not a tool that you should use for plagiarism. You should not use it to copy paste stuff out of here and put it in your in your essay and, and you know, show it off as original or, or, you know, your own original thinking. It's not that. It's a research tool. It's something that can help you focus and guide you to figure out things and kind of get a compass as to where you need to go to help write this. This is a help tool only. Anyways, with that big preamble out of the way, let's go. Discuss Alice's treatment in Alice in Wonderland by the different characters she encounters in the books. This is a standard, you know, essay question you might get. Why do they, why do you think they act the way they do and what does their behavior say about Alice? I took this right off a of spark note. So this is just an example of many different essay questions. Let's go with this one. The first step when I've already done it here is I copied and pasted this directly into chat GPT. And some of you are probably thinking, whoa, 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 whoa. This means you're copying. I am not copying. I am taking this and I'm using the response. So let's read the response in Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Alice encounters a variety of characters who treat her differently. You know, the white rabbit, etc. scolds her being slow. Generic stuff, boilerplate stuff you could easily find on Wikipedia, not to be used, but it is a great starting point as again, as a help or a research tool to dig in. So again, this is what I got out of this. So the next question I asked, and I'll scan down here, is I asked it, I said, elaborate on the white rabbit and why he behaves the way he does to Alice. So we're digging in. We're not just going past the generic, the surface, we're digging in. And here's what we got. The White Rabbit is one of the first characters that Alice encounters in Alice's Adventures, etc. And here he is. He's depicted as a nervous and easily flustered individual. Correct. And he's always in a hurry. Okay, generic stuff. Stuff we can easily write, but, you know, keep in the back of your head. But here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. The Rehabit's behavior can also be seen as a commentary on the societal pressures to conform to certain standards of punctuality and efficiency. This is a talking point. This is a thing that you can now... Talk to ChatGPT about and go, okay, elaborate on that point. So there we go. There we go. We've got our first point for our essay. What do I do next? I, I mean, there's a few in here, but again, I'm just showing you the technique. I go expand on why the white rabbit feels the need to conform to standards of punctuality and efficiency. Okay, good. And now remember, this is a conversation we're having with ChatGPT. So it knows that it builds upon what I've said before. Here we go. Let's dig into what it says. The white rabbits need to conform to standards of punctuality and efficiency may be driven by a number of factors. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. One, he's highly organized and responsible individual. Okay, they, you know, that's pretty obvious, but you know, he's under a lot of pressure to meet deadlines. Okay, no problem. Another possibility, and this one is more interesting in my opinion, is that he has to conform to societal expectations and norms regarding punctuality and efficiency. Okay, we can elaborate on that, right? I mean, this is supposed to elaborate on that a little bit, but there it goes. He feels the need to maintain a certain level of professionalism. And now this is the big one. It could be that the white rabbit is symbolic of the adult world and its demands on individuals. Okay, now this is an original idea. I like this. Okay, here we go. It goes on to elaborate societies in general place a great emphasis on productivity and time management. If you've ever had a job, you know this to be true and people need to meet deadlines. Now I go, okay, fine. How is the white rabbit symbolic of the adult world and its demands on individuals? Do you see how we're going from the basic and the generic response? So it's just its boilerplate generic response to digging in based on chat GPT's responses. So I'm getting a lot of great ideas. I'm asking for a lot of clarification. And here we go. The white rabbit is symbolic of the adult world and its demands on individuals in several different ways. Okay. It talks about some stuff we already knew about, but then it goes on and talks about how adults treat children thinking they are slower, less important, and they don't have the time to listen to their questions. How adults get bored with children and how, you know, how adults don't have time to listen to child to children and their childlike curiosity what you do is you take all of this you drop it into microsoft word for example i would just copy paste some stuff in like that here's the here's the title of here's the essay question and then then you take this you copy it in 
And then you dig down and then you go look at other resources. You look at different books, you look at different authors, you look at different websites, you go to YouTube videos, whatever it is you need to do to narrow down your search and narrow down what you're looking to do and then write it yourself, but use this as a tool, as a research tool. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.